All right, third grade, let's do a quick review of our Modigliani self-portraits. So we are going to go ahead and get started. Uh, this is a picture of our artist when he was young. Now we know that he died at age 35. He was an Italian painter. He was known for his very unique style of painting portraits and that he was influenced by African art, particularly those primitive masks that we saw in the Maddie and Dada video. Um, he preferred to show the elegance and grace rather than perfect proportions in his paintings, and he used muted colors and simple shapes. So we're going to look at some of his paintings. This is one at the Detroit Institute of Art. This is the picture I took. You can see we have those blacked out eyes. Now, some of his pictures have regular eyes. Some have blacked out eyes. You will have that choice. We have that oval head, this long, long neck, and the rounded shoulders. Really thin eyebrows and this long nose and what we call these lemon lips because it looks like they're pursed, like they just ate a lemon. Okay, this is another one. One more. You can see how his portraits are all very similar. They're all facing him. We can see them just from like the hips up. We don't see the whole body. This is one with blue eyes or blue gray eyes. This is one of his wife and we have actual eyeballs. So you are welcome to do your own actual eyeballs if you like. And notice the black outlines here. So we're gonna add that black outline on our final piece. We're gonna use crayons for this. So when we color, um, so we're gonna use those peaches and oranges and um, browns to get these skin tones. You can see here that this isn't a true skin tone, right? We have lots of oranges here. Um, so we're going to, and, and some yellows over here and some peaches and whites in here, we're going to use the same style. And then we have this heavy black outline on the nose, on the face, around this long neck, and even into the clothes. Uh, this is a gentleman. So we can see how he handles men instead of just women in his portraiture. Again, still that long neck, but we see the collared shirt and the tie. Same eyes, same eyebrows, same facial features. He's added a beard to his, um, a younger man. Uh, this boy has very short haircut. We see the ears, which we don't see in some of the women. Again, this long neck. Um, a young girl. We have the braided hair the longer neck, these rounded shoulders, that long face, and regular eyeballs here. Notice the little highlight in the eye. We do that to make them look glassy. We see the ears, the hairline, another girl, and another girl. And this one also has that heavy black outline that we're going to do in our final piece. Okay, so we're going to fold our paper today in order to get our own um, our proportions just right. And we're going to just do the drawing portion today. We'll add color next week. We want to make sure that we have that long oval head, that we have that long neck, that we have these rounded slouchy shoulders. Okay. They're not wide like our, our actual shoulders are. Everything is sort of long and narrow. We've got these thin eyebrows, this long thin nose, and this tiny little mouth the, with the lemon lips sort of looks like they just sucked on a lemon or ooh, and pulled their lips in together. Okay, and these are some student examples that people have done. All right, let's get started. Okay, my friends, we are gonna get started by folding our paper to give us some guidelines. We are gonna take the bottom of our paper and fold it up to the top. Line up those corners, come down in the middle, push out. And then we're gonna do that one more time. Just fold up that bottom, bring up those top corners, come to the middle, come down, and push out. Okay, now we can go ahead and open it up and fold some of these. You may have to like bend them backwards to get them to fold the right way. Okay, so we have four quadrants going across. So the top two are gonna be the head the third one will be the neck, and the fourth will be the shoulders. I'm gonna draw with Sharpie because you can't see it on my camera. You're going to draw with your pencil. Now we want to put in the head first, and it's gonna be that nice oval. 
Now you know if you float your pencil a few times, you'll get a nice shape. You want to leave a little bit of room for your hair up here. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and put in that nice oval head. Now if you want to, you can put it in on an angle. So you notice that some of his portraits, he had the head tilting, like so. You are welcome to do that. I just drew mine straight this time. Now the next section down, this third quadrant is going to become that neck. So remember, nice long necks. Everything should be smooth and elegant, even on the men. And now we're going to put in those sort of rounded shoulders. They're soft, they're rounded, they just sort of slump down. They're smaller than normal. Okay, now it sort of looks like an alien at this point, and that's okay. We're going to put a shirt on it. And then you're going to think about the features. So right where this fold is, if your head takes up most of the two quadrants, where, where that fold is, is right about where the eyes will be. Now remember, he doesn't worry too much about proportions. So we're going to put in that almond shape for the eye. So again, that's still that football shape. And then you'll decide if you want to put the eyeball in. If you do, you're going to make it a U shape. We never see the whole circle, or if we do, they're very surprised. So that's the colored part, the iris. And we can put the black part in, which is the pupil. And then we can put in those thin eyebrows. And then we can put in that long nose. Now we're just gonna do like a very slight sort of L shape. If you want, you could add in, you know, a little bump for the nostril. You can add in more details if you want. And then those lips. Remember, it should look like they went, ooh, I just ate a lemon. So we're just going to kind of put in something really small here. Got that sort of M shape. I'm going to put in that U underneath it. And then a line connecting them. Okay, now I'm going to add some hair. My hair typically comes to my shoulders. So I'm going to go ahead and add that. And it also covers a good chunk of my forehead. You know, our hair typically starts about halfway down. So I'm going to go ahead and add that. My hair's straight. So I would just go ahead and add that down. Depending on what your hair looks like, your portrait will be totally different. Okay, so I'm going to flip this over. And if I had head here with that long neck and those rounded shoulders and I put a shirt on and we put the eyes in and that long nose okay and the eyebrows now, if I was going to do a boy, I might do, you know, if your hair was short, I might do something sort of like this. You would put your ear in. The ear usually lines up around the eye. And then your hair might come up a bit, too, off the head. Okay, something like that. And then you would erase that headline in there. If you were a girl with shorter hair, I'll just use this one still. You know, maybe your hair only comes to about here, you know, because you've got a shorter bob. That's that could be too. Maybe you've got bangs and you want to show that. Okay, maybe you've got curly hair. Okay, so you want to go ahead and add some of that texture in. You'll add most of the texture in with your crayon, so just kind of give it like a, a rough shape for the outline. You don't want to add all of those curls in. We're going to add most of the detail for the hair with our color, okay? If you have other questions about hair, I can um, Zoom with you one-on-one -on -one or we can talk about them on Friday. Okay, so this is a good start. I would erase that headline and um, and, and this, you know, now we're ready to think about some of the details. So before we go in next week and think about color, think about what color your background should be, what color you're going to do your hair, your eyes, if you're going to add any details to your shirt, or um, any other 
thoughts you might have about your portrait of you, okay? And if you have any questions, like I said, we'll talk about these on Friday. Um, you'll, you can bring your progress, your sketch, progress sketches on Friday to our live. And if you have questions in the meantime, you can message me in Schoology and I will get back with you and um, we can talk there. All right. Have a great week. See you Friday.